G'day. I'm Warwick Schill and I've just been filming a clip on teaching a horse to come up beside me on the mounting block here. And I was thinking about something that happened at a clinic here the other day. There was a girl and uh, she has a horse and this horse, she's got the groundwork okay, but she says he's good on the ground, but riding him, he's real worried and does stupid stuff and people can get hurt. And I said, well, how is the... I said, she said, so it, you know, it kind of comes out of nowhere. And I said, well, it doesn't come out of nowhere. There's a, there's a difference between being on the ground and being on their back. And, what, and, and teaching these horses to come up beside you like this is where you're kind of halfway between on the ground and on their back. And so we went to work on that. And when she first started working on that, when she was on the mounting block, when she was above him, so not flat on the ground where he's relaxed, when she was above him, his head was turned and he was kind of thinking away from her, was completely disinterested in having anybody above him. He was a bit concerned about that. So she spent quite a bit of time, like several hours here, just really working on really slowly getting him up closer to her and scratching on him when he got here and things like that, getting him really comfortable with her above him. And after a while, he really started to engage her. And by the end of the session, he was really relaxed with her standing up here, whereas at the start of the session, she wasn't. And that's, that would be a big part in breaking down the problem she's having under saddle. And it really reminded me of a, of a quote I read by a German philosopher and poet named Friedrich Schiller. Funnily enough, I don't know if he's related or not. But he had a quote and it said, those who, are not, who, those who lack the patience to perfect the little things will never possess the skills to do the big things easily. Or maybe it was those who lack the patience to perfect, that's what it was, perfect the small things will never acquire the skill to do the big things easily. And, and the, the hard things always seem like they're quite hard, but all they are is just little things done really really well put together and doing the little things perfectly sometimes seems like it's kind of boring and i think that's that quote's very very applicable but a lot of people we had quite a few people here watching the other day and uh, a lot of the people that were watching come up to me afterwards and said wow that was amazing the difference in that little horse from the beginning that of that session on the mountain block to the end of that session on the mountain block so they were amazed at the at the the change in him but they're also amazed at how patient we were about the little things along the way. They're like, wow, that, that really made me think about that stuff. And that's, that's something I want you to think about. So think about that. The, the, I always tell people that the, the big things are hard. The little things are easy. I mean, the, the big things are easy. The little things are very, very hard. The little, hard the, the little things are very, very hard to perfect. And there's a really good book called the talent code by a fellow named Daniel Coyle and it's he goes around the world looking at what he calls talent hotbeds you know like there's a Russian tennis gym and there's a South Korean women's uh, golf academy and things like that places that will just routinely just churn out athletes of a high level and one of the things he found at those places is they practice little things to perfection when you first go to that Russian tennis gym you're not allowed to hit a ball you go there and you get to hold, and I'm no tennis player, but you have to hold your racket and place your feet and they want you to start to work on your forehand and they bring your arm back and no, no, you've got to turn your wrist 25 degrees this way. No, not quite. Keep your weight on your left front toe and your right hind heel or something like that. And they don't get to hit a tennis ball for a long time because they practice those little things really, really well. Another one of the examples in there is a, um, a violin studio in Japan and for the first month or two they don't even hold a violin they've got to hold a cardboard tube the same shape as the neck of the violin and practice holding that well and they have a little stick they run across it and they practice all these little things really really well and that's why those places churn out talent is because they ensure people work on those little things well so really I think a big part of talent the biggest part of talent one of the biggest parts of talent might be your ability to be patient enough to perfect the small things. So anyway, hope that helps. We'll see you guys next time.